Great here. Welcome back to Factorio. Uh, I was looking for my logistics. Yeah, I'm barely using any logistics robots. Ooh. I don't like how it's dark in some places. Dark is bad. Especially for YouTube videos. Ah, here's another... Another good uh, production line that I can use productivity modules on. I'm going to speed up the rest of them for now. That's kind of a reminder to come back and pick them up later. So like I was saying last time, uh, I'm going to put the rocket silo over off to the side and have robots ferry things over it to it that way I've got uh, I've got you know 700 logistics robots I I can I can spare it that way I can build the production lines wherever I need them okay all of these are now running which is good so I still need it looks like a hundred engines. You know what I'm going to do? Two hundred engines. Please bring the... Oh, there were some in the network. Okay. So now I've got 152. So anytime an engine gets built, I will get it. Let's get these kitted up. Or chipped up. One of the two, I guess. There we go. I think this is an intermediate as well. Yes, it is. So that... These are not intermediates, though. So that will... Save some materials there. The reason I, I, I flipped from, oh, what's, you know, throughput and, and speed, and, and now I'm really harping on how many materials I have is because to build the rocket and to build the... Well, you see what it takes to build the silo. It's it's thousands of material. Well, the, the rocket and the satellite are also just a ton of material. So you really want to start saving your material unless you want to expand constantly. Okay, I've got more. Yeah, I do. So let's get these from the top down. And in fact, my productivity... Let's go to the 10 minute display. So we're up to about 1.1k on iron plates. Which, uh, well, eh, not not the max, but it's close to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to need more. Well, let's uh, steel. I think I'm fine on steel for now. Iron. I can always put in another, a third smelting line right here. Thing is, right now I'm actually not capped on production. I am capped on consumption. Really, I don't have. Is this not a provider chest? Oh, that's right. This is a requester chest. So I do have to check this. I forgot about that. Actually, this isn't a requester chest at all. Well, that's silly. You are now a requester chest, sir. And where are the engines? This should be a... Oh, not a requester chest. This is an active provider chest. There we go. And this is now an active provider chest. How I miss those, I do not know. In fact, let's let's do a quick check of the chest to make sure I didn't miss any. 
No, we've got all... Yeah, it looks like we've got all actives. Okay, why... Oh, because I haven't routed the lubricant up there yet because I'm not using blue yet. Got it. Laser, sh uh, laser shooting speed? Yes. I'm focusing on the laser defenses because I'm kind of turtle up in here. I want my defenses to max. If I ever have to go out, I want... Right. Power. Uh, I want my lasers to be as deadly as possible. Please bring me... 10 engines. Pipes, unfortunately, are not intermediate... Uh, products, even though they are used in a lot of other things, they're not considered intermediates, so I can't uh, production th production them up. However, I can get these taken care of on my way past. Kind of dim in there. Okay, so here are my steam engine lines. Problem I have is I'm kind of running out of... Uh, I mean, I'm going to intrude on this, this copper patch. Up here, I'm going to run into a problem with here. I almost need another another line of engines, it seems. I mean, I could try to bend them, maybe? No, because they, they take a fair amount of distance. Could try to put another line in here, but I think I've got it kind of messed up. Hmm. I do need to take care of the power. And accumulators are so much easier. Let's look at the other side of the base. <laughs> the robot still can't catch up to me. Sorry, little guys. Well, I do have coal over here. Uh, I'd want to put engines, I'd want to put them down here, and they would eventually intrude into the into the steel production line. Hmm. Well, shoot. It's just the the material cost. Then again, I mean, it's not like I'm starved for materials right now, but I don't know how much I'm going to need later on. That's the problem. Well, for the time being, let's 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 try to at least put a bend in here. I think I can at least do that. No, don't do that because that's I need that. And just get rid of all of this junk right in here. Oh, that's the pipe. So, if I have my ten engines... Can I fit it in here? Two, three, four, five. It would be iffy. If I go this way, how far do I have to go? Yeah, I go... I, I definitely run into the... 
the copper patch, and I might need that copper patch. Well, you know what? I don't need this. That's for certain. Actually, I think I did. That was dumb. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I needed the RoboPort, not the defenses. Let's put it that way. Let's get him hooked up with power. Like so. And of course, I need solar again. It's like the late game is like, I need solar, I need this, I need that, I need everything. Good thing I have robots to do all of this. You know what? I wonder if I could do it this way. Let's get my engines. And I need to get this by hand, I think. This is too close for the robots to take care of. The horror of actually having to do this once again. There. So, where's my engines? Ah. Get out of the way, tree. Like so. That would be bad if I did not replace that. And where are my next five engines? So we'll cut uh, cut the power there. Why does that feel off? That there. We have a light in there. So instead of coming out this side, what we'll do is this one will go to the far one. It is if I were on the correct line. This one will go to the near one. There. So now we've basically put a We've put a 180, we can come across, and now we can run engines back along this way, and we're still running it off of these boilers down here. Why is... the... You know what? We definitely need to increase that. Okay, let's take a look at our our power now. So we have 100, which means we have 50 megawatts. We're still kind of bumping up against that. So let's get our engines again. Now I'm taking a look at these the coal here. It'll be so nice when this field gets taken care of. How much is in here? I'm going to get rid of that one. That way, 
the belts will take uh, get a bit more coal down here, so I'm not using as many on the uh, of the robots to ferry it ferry it across. How much am I? Uh... Yeah, I'm basically I'm a asking for infinity over here, which is good. Do I have? Fifty, 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 forty-four. So close. Okay, so get rid of this. I need storage tanks. I do not need fifty. I need ten. And here's my 10 more engines. And there are my tanks. Nope, I didn't put space in between. There. Of course, they brought me 50 tanks anyway. Thanks, guys. You are so helpful. No, really. So, what does the water in here look like? I guess more importantly, how's our our solar panels? Yeah, there. Now we're completely on solar. So, let's get these taken care of. If I'm going to be doing this much longer, I really should blueprint it. And a light in the middle somewhere. Right there. So that gets us up to 55 megawatts. And these trees are just offending me at this point. So please murder them. There's our 200. So rocket silo is a go. I no longer need those. All of these should be fast inserters now. So let's get the rocket silo down. Uh, laser turret damage. Go. There's the rocket. There's the flamethrower ammo. Am I missing something? Explosive rocketry, I'm not worried about. Rocket damage, I don't need. Can't I make the satellite now? Oh, I can! Yeah, so 100 low density structure, 100 solar panels, 100 accumulators, 5 radars, rocket fuel. Just. Well, look at the bottom of the total raw. We need 500 solid fuel. Uh, 1,800 iron, 3,200 copper, 1,500 steel, 500 plastic bars, 100 blue cir uh, processing units, and 500 batteries. The rocket itself No, that's not the rocket. Rocket fuel, rocket control unit. So there's the satellite, there's the rocket fuel, there's the rocket control unit. Okay, I'm confused. I'll figure it out. So where do we want this rocket to, to launch from? Well, 
let's make uh, use our very own Cape Canaveral over here because this is a tiny iron patch I'm not worried about. So let's put it right here. Giant freaking structure. Let's get it some power. Low density structure, rocket fuel, rocket control unit, rocket part. So each of these needs 10 low density structure, 10 rocket fuel, and 10 rocket control unit. And it just builds the, the rocket, which is kind of, yeah. So let's put these in here, like so. Okay, first things first, I want to build the satellite because launching without the satellite is kind of something that people do because they get so excited about the rocket and then they have to build another rocket. I don't want to be that guy. So we need to start off with the low density. Well, let's go for the rocket fuel first. Rocket fuel requires solid fuel. Solid fuel is made from petroleum products of which I have an abundance. Solid fuel can also be burned in the boilers, so it's another source of energy if we need it. But with my coal reserves, I don't think I'm going to need it. So somewhere down here, I'm going to make solid fuel. So I believe that's made in a chemical plant. So let's crank one of those out. In fact, how's my light oil? My light oil is empty. My petroleum gas is at 1.3. Uh, my heavy is at zero. These are not running because of why. Why, why, why aren't these running? Because I don't have an overabundance of petroleum. Ew. That could be a problem. Unfortunately, all of these are considered intermediate steps. Ha ha ha. So let's crank all of this up. And yeah, I've got lubricant, but I'm I'm gonna want to do something with the heavy oil here in a minute. Let's get all of these with productivity modules. Uh, this can use productivity modules. This can use productivity modules. My batteries can use productivity modules. There you go. Productivity module, all the things. Now, where's my chemical plant? I just realized something. You go away. I don't want you in here. So let's let's put this... Well, let's see what I need to crank in here first. I can make it out of any of the three, really. So, I still have not an overabundance of petroleum gas, but I still have a lot of petroleum gas. So I'm wondering if I should make it out of that. Uh, actually, what I want to do, while I'm thinking about it, where's my pumps? Okay, make two small pumps. I want two small pumps. Uh, this is my input. That's my output over to here. So let's put that in place. Let's get rid of this. Where's my two small pumps? I want a small pump here, facing that way. And a small pump there, facing that way. Pumps uh, uh, serve... The main purpose that pumps serve is they make sure that the side that you that you're pumping out of is emptied completely the other purpose that they do is they actually increase the flow to whatever side you're going to uh, that's secondary in this case what I want to do now is I want to wire these up to the same tank like so so wire it to this tank and then back over to that. So now both of these pumps are wired to this tank right here. 
And I'm going to say, this tank, if you have heavy oil greater than, let's say, 5. And then let's copy this condition over here. There we go. Heavy oil greater than 5, you're allowed to pump. The reason I'm, I did that is because without uh, without them here, I wasn't too concerned because I'm not using a bunch of lubricant yet. Uh, it's only been used for the electric engines. As you can see, I've, I've got, I maxed out on lubricant. But now that I'm going to be making other things, I want to make sure that the, the lubricant doesn't steal more than it needs to. So what this this does, this is basically a fluid splitter. If you just put the pumps on either side, uh, this pump would get priority because the fluid would come into this tank and then this pump would, uh, would be running and it would suck it right out before the fluid got a chance to go over to this tank and out this pump. The pumps, when they activate, uh, it doesn't say how much that they, they pump. It doesn't say the, yeah, pumping speed, 0 0.5. So they, I don't know what that means. I, I don't. But the, the, the point here is that by ensuring that there's five, in, uh, five units of petroleum in each of these tanks, the pumps will run, and when they run, they will output into the, the next portion, and they'll be able to pull equally out of this because there's always going to be more heavy oil in these tanks than these are going to pump out in any single tick. Uh, heavy oil greater than five. Heavy oil greater than five. Well, you're greater than five. Why are you not running? Do you have to be up to six? I think. I'm actually not sure. Well, obviously I need to reassess my, my capped out on this side. Yeah, obviously I'm, I've got something, because look, look at all the crew, I've got crewed in here. I'm, I'm going to have to check this. Anyway, I'm going to put a cut in here, I'm going to take a look around and see what's going on. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and have fun.